Welcome, Virgos. I'm back, y'all, with another video. Ooh, it's so freaking cold. It is cold. When I say it is cold, it is cold outside in this house. Let me go. Hold on, y'all. Are y'all feeling? Are y'all feeling? Burr, 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 burr. Are y'all cold? Yeah, yeah. Y'all might be feeling real cold. Mmm. How you gonna say no to this? How you gonna say no to this? Cause you know what? I just did two readings before y'all's, and it was not this cold. Like, soon as I clicked the video for y'all, I just got this chill. Like, this real. Oh my gosh, it's cold. <laughs> chill. Okay. Y'all might be being cold on somebody. Let's see. Y'all might got an icebox where your heart used to be. <laughs> Let's see what message is. This is going to be from December the 1st through the 7th, baby. December 1st through the 7th. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Let's see. December the 1st through the 7th. December the 1st through the 7th. Okay. We got the nine of earth. All right. So, you're feeling very enjoying your life's luxuries. You're spending quiet time alone. You're feeling successful. Some of you are self-employed. Okay, so we got renewal. Okay, so this is review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. So, some of you are, I'm getting like very comfortable vibes. Like, you know, you're focused on being your best version of you. Okay. I'm getting that there had to be an ending. Excuse me. I'm getting that there had to be some type of ending because we got the Ten of Air. So this is the Ten of Swords, like in the traditional tarot. Um, and I'm getting that there needed to be a completely ending of something. And then there's this fresh new energy, okay? Because then I got the Ace of Fire, which is the Ace of Wands, okay? So this is an exciting new opportunity. You know, it change, changes when, when things are picking up. Action is being put into play, okay? Um, some of you are, some of you, we got the Page of Water, okay? This is communication. Some of you have been in, I'm telling you, this Queen of Air, some of you are taking on this Queen of Air energy. Like, you're just saying whatever comes to your, your mind. Like, you're just speaking your truth, okay? You're not holding anything back. You're not holding anything back. You're very witty, okay? Um, And I feel like we got a release here, okay? So, this is like the world card. Like, you're saying what you feel, and then you're leaving it at that. But be careful that that energy isn't coming from a place of ego, okay? Be careful that that isn't coming from a place of ego, okay? Fear surrounding money. We got the five of earth. This is like uncertainty, okay? The Empress. Okay, I'm getting with the Five of Earth and the Empress. Some of you could find out that you are uh, expecting or some of you are dealing with, you know, are in communication with a mother or an aunt or a sister. Some very feminine energy is here. Hold on, you guys. Give me a second. I don't know why I'm having to do this in every video, but <laughs> I hear this music so loud. I don't want to be in the background.
All right, I'm back, y'all. Okay. Okay. Like I was saying, make sure that you are coming from a place of ego. This is a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Okay. Like maybe fearing that you not you don't have enough. Okay. The five of pentacles is when you're kind of going through a rough patch. Could be a rough patch financially. You know, you having fear surrounding your money. Uncertain, you know, uncertain about where money is going to come from. Um because I feel like you have all the tools that you need. You're coming off as Empress Energy as well, too. Like, um, you could you could make something grow, okay? You have the ability to take something really small and grow it into something really big and beautiful, okay? But not when you're coming from this ego place, okay? So it looks like the Nine of Pentacles or Nine of Earth is where you are headed or some of you are at that place already. Some of you have left behind that ego energy, okay? Give me another card. Thank you. Oh, you gave me two. Thank you. Nine of Water is constantly coming up in the Five of Water. Okay, I feel like some of y'all possibly are regretting something that was said, okay? Um... Ten of Earth is a very happy family life. Could be, you know, in terms of your, in terms of family, as well as your financial security. Okay, I'm getting that there was some type of get together. Okay, you're not sure of two of two of air and the eight of fire. The two of air is uncertainty. The eight of fire is communication. The moon card is Pisces energy. So maybe did, maybe there's something that you uh, didn't mean to say or didn't mean to for it to come off like that. Because for some reason, I'm getting like, you guys have been giving Queen of Swords energy. Okay. Queen of Swords, we know how her energy is. <laughs> we know how her energy is. Okay. Um, the nine of water and the king of fire. Nine of water. This is a wish fulfillment. Okay. This is, you know, wish fulfillment, a wish fulfillment. And then we got the king of fire. This is, you know, a very action card, an action based card. Okay. Very action based card. All right. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with the earth sign, like yourself, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get some clarity. Earth, King of Cups, and the Star, and the Page of Wands. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Earth, I'm sorry, a Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Fire Sign. You're definitely picking up on Pisces with this Hangman energy here. You're waiting for someone to speak up or say something. I'm just getting like some of you are dealing with Aquarius. But I'm getting that some of you guys are waiting for somebody to speak up about how they feel. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, like a new start. Okay, I'm getting like a new start. Now somebody is distant. The Three of Cups and the Hermit. The hermit got the hermit is you guys' energy. Somebody here was a group or a clique or were we're very good together, but then there's distance. So you're waiting for somebody to speak their mind, speak their feelings on how they feel. Yeah, because somebody said something real mean and nasty. Page of Cups and the Devil. And it started some mess, okay, with the Five of Swords. Yeah. Somebody was bullying somebody. Somebody, I'm get, definitely getting like bullied. Somebody having to take up for somebody. Um... I'm just getting that, like, 
You're waiting for somebody to express how they feel. Yep, I'm getting like, but somebody like is stuck or afraid to say how they feel. For sure. Maybe you're hoping that this person reaches out to you because now you're kind of worried that, you know, maybe, yeah, that this person is mad because all of a sudden they just left. Okay, so you're afraid to speak up. You hope that this person reaches out to you because I feel like there was a big blow up. Nine of Swords and the Tower. Or you're afraid of this person blowing up. But I'm getting that somebody, there was this big tower moment and somebody decided to walk away. Somebody left. Okay. Yeah. Like things were all good and then it was just like, yeah. Mm. I'm getting like you, you you're you kind of wishing that you kind of did it handled it better with the hierophant here you could be dealing with the taurus king of wands wants to reveal itself once again leo sagittarius aries but that's how you you know how you handle the situation what action you took and i'm getting that there was a disagreement i got the five of wands here yep it started drama it started an argument an ongoing it was something that was ongoing it was something that was ongoing your intuition was, you you were using your intuition. There was a lot of confusion going on, a lot of things that needed to be balanced out. Um, it was just a lot. The Seven of Cups, Justice, and the Six of Cups. There was a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion going on, for sure, for sure. So maybe you're taking this time to yourself because the nine of pentacles is when you're kind of like, you know, self. You're thinking about yourself. And that's why I feel like that ego card came out because I feel like you may be being a little selfish in a situation or you're coming off as selfish. Okay, you're coming off as selfish. <laughs> and I'm not, I can't put it any other way. It's either you or someone else. But I'm getting like... You like chilling by yourself, vibing by yourself, and then you know you start thinking about the situation. Um, I feel like you may be kind of afraid of the response that you're going to get, but nonetheless, it happened the way it happened. But you know, the other party may feel like you're selfish. I'm just getting, I'm just hearing the word selfish. Okay, so why is nine of water here? This is a wish fulfillment. This is something that you want. Six of Wands, Three of Wands. You were waiting for somebody to take control. Um, also, there was some type of mix-up. Uh, there's some type of mix-up here. But I'm getting something happening. Somebody left. The Emperor here, this could be someone's father. Someone's telling lies. But I feel like you're waiting to see if this person was going to notice or is going to get your attention or try to find a way to get your attention. You feel like you, you were waiting on a chance. You were possibly waiting on this chance. Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, but you're afraid. I keep getting afraid to ask or afraid to say something. Okay. You feel like this person is spying on you or you're spying on them. You was waiting to see what this person going to say. Here's that wish fulfillment card. I feel like you want you want an opportunity. You want this opportunity with this person or you want something new. But I feel like this chapter has closed. The world card is here. Like I feel like this chapter is done, over with. Oh, yeah. Look at the tower right here. Ooh. Yeah, bad decision, bad decision. Five of cups in the tower, like... Ugh, this is a sticky situation. Yeah, ooh. The five of pentacles. Yeah. Um. 
the six of swords and the chariot is definitely someone moving on. Somebody felt like they were done wrong and they left. Um, I feel like you were holding some type of grudge. Four of Pentacles and the Five of Wands is definitely somebody holding a grudge. And that's why I say I feel like a lot of this energy is coming from a ego base of ego, you know, your ego, you let your ego take over. Okay. Um, how's the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, now it's like you're here single or you're here by yourself. I'm even hearing... Some of y'all are even like talking to yourself like you're replaying this over and over in your head. Because I got the six cups here. There's that queen of swords. And that king of cups and the queen of pentacles. Yeah. Y'all was carrying this Queen of Swords energy or somebody was acting like this, expressing their feelings in that way. King of Cups. Um, but I feel like it was you guys, Queen of Pentacles. Y'all were expressing how you truly feel and y'all was doing it in a Queen of Swords way. <laughs> Ooh. I got the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. Possibly you were waiting for this person to communicate or tell how they feel. And I just feel like they just didn't. No matter which that they would have. Why is the King of Fire here? Nine of Wands. Somebody could possibly get blocked. Oh, no, you're spying. You're spying on them. You're possibly spying on a fire sign. You're possibly looking to see, like, if they are hurt. You're watching this person from afar. Like, you're watching this person from afar. Instead of you communicating how you truly feel to this person, some of y'all are just, like, being peeping toms. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? You're watching to see if this person is mad. So you're possibly like looking on their social media, checking up, checking things out to see how things are going. But see, I feel like with the temperance card, this is balance and peace and, you know, finding a way to um, balance the situation out. I feel like the Ten of Swords and the Justice card here, something was not done right. Something was not done the proper way. For some of you, this could be karma. Okay, something just wasn't done right. And you're worried about what this person is going to say. The Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords. Like your intuition may be telling you. You, you know how this person is going to respond. I'm getting like for for some of you, I feel like you started you just started something. I feel like you started something, uh, some type of battle, argument, disagreement. Um, two of Swords and the High Priestess is saying like you're not sure. You don't know um, how this affected the situation with this Ten of Wands, or you don't know how you're going to recover from this. Um, you may be hoping that this person sees how you feel, but the relationship is now toxic. Two of Cups and the Devil. The relationship is now toxic. Um, Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, this is a mess. 
Whatever happened, it was real messy. Um, and then we got, I'm telling you, we got this world card. You or this person is so over this, like it's nothing. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. It's literally, it ain't nothing after that. I don't know who, for some of you, if this is you, do, you did this to someone or someone did this to you, whoever, whatever, however the story goes, um, some, whoever the other person is, <laughs> over it. If this is you and somebody did this to you, <laughs> over it. <laughs> it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. All right, so let's see what other messages we get from the Kipper. From the Kipper. All right, let's see. What message, what additional messages do you have for Virgos? All right, so we have message. All right, we have lovers. And we have marriage. Okay, so for some of you, there's a marriage involved. Could be a Gemini involved. But I'm getting that there's communication. Okay, we got house and great fortune. This could have happened at someone's house um, or somebody's job. Why is message here? Or somebody here loves to talk about their marriage or talk about their lover. Okay, we got gift. Oh, that's gift here. Child. Okay, so children might be involved. There's possibly some type of communication about a child, somebody gifting, giving a gift to a child. But we got a false person here. Somebody in this situation is false, wearing a false mask, being fake. All right, so we have a thief. There is definitely some craziness going on. Somebody stole something or somebody lied. Somebody is a liar about who they're dealing with. Marriage. We got distant horizon. Somebody could be separated from their lover. Somebody could have been in prison or in jail. Okay, somebody was thinking about somebody while they were in prison or jail. And there are distant lovers. Okay, so let's see. And we got toil and labor, okay? So, yeah, somebody's, okay, you guys could be really, really zoomed in and focus on work and money over court, courting with this person. Um, so, some of you may be deciding to keep your distance. Some of y'all may be deciding to keep your distance, but there could definitely possibly be a marriage involved. Why is the marriage here? Privileged lady. You could possibly want marriage, but the thing about this is, you possibly do, and then again, you possibly don't, because I'm getting that there's a main male here that is having a hard time, like, trying to get themselves together. We got despair and main male. So somebody here does not have money, and is going through a hard time, is going through a rough patch. Um, you may feel like someone is leaning more towards a privilege. There could be a privileged lady in the situation. Why is privileged lady here? Family room. Someone could be, oh, and the main woman, mature woman, I'm sorry. Someone's mother could be involved and is, um, someone's mother could be involved and is inviting a privileged lady in, possibly wanting some the, your other person to marry this privileged lady. Why is false person here? Oh, the main male. You found out that this person is false, has been lying. Thief, why is thief here? We got courtship. You, okay, somebody's possibly lying about who they're sleeping with. Okay, someone's using someone for sex. Why is child here? Okay, we got great fortune and house. Okay, maybe some children were supposed to come over to someone's house, okay? And maybe the man was supposed to 
buy them things or do something for them and he possibly couldn't. We got poverty here, okay? Why is lovers here? Occupation. The judge is here. Somebody needs to work on, okay, main female. Somebody needs to work on how they express their love, okay? Yeah, I'm getting change, okay? So somebody needs to change the way that they communicate with someone. It could be you or this other person. Somebody here could have been dealing with the court system. Because I got judge and official person. And then we got a message. Okay, so there's some type of message of concern. We got concern and journey. Courthouse. Somebody could have uh, could have been at the courthouse or dealing with the court system. Or is finalizing some court documents or something to that nature as well. Somebody could have went to jail for... Uh, for taking something, shoplifting or something to that nature or something, something to that nature. Yeah, and see when I said that, imprisonment came out. Uh-huh, somebody went away, went to jail. Yeah, and then it looks like somebody here is saying that they uh, need to find a job because we got pathway and toil and labor. So that's looking for a job, finding a job, finding some way to make some, bring some money in. But I'm feeling like we got coughing and change. It's like things haven't changed or something didn't change. Uh, maybe this person hasn't matured any since there's been some time apart or something like that. Somebody's expecting someone to help them with poverty here. Um, and like someone's thoughts is, you know, they're trying to get rich or whatever, whatever. But for some reason, I'm getting like somebody's coming at you that way. Okay, so these are additional messages. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Um, I told, I'm told i not sure if I told you guys about the sale that I'm running today. Um, it's 30% off on orders over $30. You use code LUCKY30 at checkout if you've spent $30 or more. Um, and the website, all of that information and how to book a personal reading, all of that information is going to be in the drop box below, okay? All right, guys. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.